Hi, this is Anthony with TradingETFs.com. Today is uh, June 3rd, 2020, and we wanted to post this uh, stock WDC, which is Western Digital. Um, <clears throat> very similar to the other calls on um, um, Levi and HPE. Uh, you can see HPE is, is uh, starting to move. To the upside, we, we did get the, um, the cross above the zero line, and um, also Levi is now moving. Um, so when it comes to WDC, what these three have in common is that capitulation low, a little bit of a move up, and then sideways movement. Um, we got the crossover above the zero line. We got the pullback, and now it looks like we're ready to start running again. Um, so we wanted to post this here. We'll also um, post a YouTube video or a video for you to be able to review this. And um, if you have any questions, please let us know. Other than that, hope you're having a great day. Stay safe. Thanks. I forgot to mention, uh, or I wanted to make, make mention, when we post these profit, um, you know, potential profit ranges. So, for instance, we're we're projecting if it gets to the 200-day moving average, it's an 18% move. Um, <clears throat> that doesn't mean that that's all we expect as far as the move to the upside. It is simply just giving um, a, a way for you to determine whether there's enough profit in the move. To warrant taking a position. So when we say 18.7% is what you can realize if it gets to the 200-day moving average. It could get to the 200-day moving average and blow right up. Uh, for instance, if there's some type of a merger news or if there's some other good news that comes out, it could just blow right past this 200-day moving average. So when we post these profit ranges, um, it's, it's simply just to give you a look at potentially uh, how much money uh, you, uh, based on how much you're, you're willing to risk, what your upside looks like if it just gets to the 200-day moving average. So we just wanted to clarify that. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.